In the early 1960s, amid the Cold War's geopolitical tension, a friendship was kindled between Tanzania and its first president Julius Nyerere and China, led by Chairman Mao Zedong. This unlikely alliance between a new African state and a rising Asian power set the stage for a cross-continental partnership. A friendship treaty signed in 1965 is still active six decades later. We have traveled together as two people in countries a long distance. And today we stand strong together. Our friendship has endured the test of time and our relation is much stronger today. Economically, China's impact on Tanzania is undeniable. From financing the Tazara Railway in the 1970s, a monumental infrastructure project that connected landlocked Zambia to the Tanzanian port of Dar es Salaam, to the modern-day Belt and Road Initiative. Experts say Chinese investments span various sectors, including energy, mining, and telecommunications, creating jobs and spurring growth for Tanzania's economy. These companies have brought uh, an investment of more than 11 billion US dollars and they have created almost 150,000 jobs for Tanzanians. And we still uh, uh, continue to receive more companies. And this year alone, we expect to have more than 20,000 jobs created by the investment from Chinese companies in Tanzania. So why not important? It is. We should maintain it and, of course, go further and beyond where we are. Beyond economics, the cultural and social exchanges have enriched both societies. Chinese language and culture have found a home in Tanzania with the establishment of Confucius Institutes, while Tanzanian arts and Swahili language programs have begun to make their mark in China. The two hearts of state agreed to elevate the bilateral relation to the comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership. Under the strategic guidance of the two heads of state, China and Tanzania enjoy ever closer exchanges across the fields. The two countries firmly support each other on issues concerning respective core interests and major concerns. In 1971, Tanzania firmly and consistently backed China advocating for its right to become a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Furthermore, Tanzania has steadfastly supported the One China policy, contributing to its broad recognition internationally. The legacy of Julius Nyerere and Mao Zedong lives on, as their successes continue to build an ongoing partnership. It's a testament of how far-reaching visions can shape the course of history, bring diverse nations together for mutual progress. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.